Hey guys, it's Matt. Uh, I'm going to do another video tonight. Should be uh, somewhat of a quick one. Um, I want to teach you how to back up files in Windows 8 using Windows 8 file history. Now this used to be called, you know, Windows 7. Uh, and Windows 7 it was like, uh, you know, just backup, restore, whatever. File history, it uh, it's not something that you think of whenever you think of um, backup. It's, uh, you know, normally called backup, not file history. But file history is actually pretty cool and pretty easy to set up. So that's why I was saying this is going to be somewhat of a short video. But I want to give you a, a demo of how it actually works. I'm producing a number of short, really short uh, Windows 8 videos. Uh, Windows 8 is not all that bad. Um, once you kind of get used to it, it's actually kind of a sweet upgrade for uh, people looking for a little bit of a bump in speed, um, especially for gaming, because I'm a big gamer, so really did um, make a lot of my games run really smooth. So that was the big upgrade for me. But anyway, um, let me go ahead and show you how you set up file history. You want to have two hard drives. It can be uh, either an internal hard drive, like an extra hard drive internally, or you can have an external hard drive uh, or like a USB stick something like that but as you can see right here I've got my C drive and I've got my E drive so this is my, ba my, my uh, backup drive and we're gonna go ahead and set up a file history and if you go into your control panel and I'll show you how to actually get that control panel icon on your desktop. If you right click your desktop anywhere on it, go to personalize, change desktop icons, and then you can turn on your control panel right there, hit apply, hit OK. All of a sudden you've got a control panel icon on your desktop. So we'll go ahead and hit that and we'll go to system and security. And down at the bottom near the bottom you'll see file history um, I'm just gonna go ahead and right click this and just drag it out to my desktop to create a shortcut there you can still work with it in here but I prefer to have a shortcut on the desktop uh, so I'll go ahead and double click file history and it's gonna look for hard drives and it says file history is off right now it wants to uh, you, you can turn it on and it wants to select the backup drive E. So basically it's going to select anything but your C drive. It'll give you a list of options if you have more than one drive. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. Um, sure, we'll back up uh, for other members of this computer even though we don't have any. So file history is on right now. Uh, you can go ahead and go to, I believe it's advanced settings. Yeah, that's kind of where I was messing around. Um, it's going to go ahead and save a copy of your files every hour by default. Uh, the size of the offline cache, you can, um, depending on the size of your backup drive, you can go ahead and increase this. Uh, I'll usually say like 20%. Uh, the drives these days are big enough to easily handle that. Um, keep saved ver versions uh, forever, uh, or you can keep them for a set number of uh, you know, set, set time period. So we can keep versions for one month, you know, all the way up to two years. So, but I'll say forever for right now. And then you can go ahead and clean up versions when you're not, you know, using version, you know, a version of a file from, uh, you know, six months ago. We don't care. You can clean up all that stuff. Uh, we'll go ahead and save changes. And um, file history is uh, saving copies of my files for the first time. So I'll go ahead and let that do it. Uh, basically, what it's going to back up. People always ask, oh, what is it going to back up? Well, it's going to back up your library. So your documents, music, pictures, videos. Um, so basically, uh, all of that stuff right there. So anything in the library. Um, and I think it does, yeah, your desktop, contacts, and favorites. So it does pretty much anything you're interested in. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and run it. Oh, it's already been run. So it was uh, run just a few seconds ago. I only have a few files. 
what I did do is I created a document in my documents called a super important document. So we created a backup just a few seconds ago, basically. So what happens if I go into this document and I say, you know, whoops, this text messed up this document. And I save it. So I go ahead and run file history. You don't normally have to do this. I'm just doing this for a demo. Normally it'll run every hour, but I'm going to run it manually right now. So it's doing this thing. Only takes a second. Alright. So let's say that that document is now corrupted because I added that extra line of text. Using file history, I can restore some personal files. I can restore versions of those files. So if you look down here, you have these uh, previous version tabs over here. Uh, if I go into the document that I'm interested in restoring, uh, a super important document. This was created at 5.29 p.m., but I need to go back to the previous version over at 5.26 p.m. All I gotta do is click that big old green restore to original location, replace this file, and voila! I have that file back to where it was before, before I added that second line of text that messed it up. So that's how simple it is to go back and forth through file versions. Let's say I want to go forward a revision restore it replace it now this should have this file should have a second line of text which is right there so perfect so that's how the file versioning works it's pretty awesome really simple um, let's give another example let's say someone deletes my costume picture for Halloween I'm gonna be the scarecrow for Halloween this year so this is like my reference art I already have my mask and stuff, so. All right, so looks good. Let me kind of minimize this out of the way. It's kind of hard to do on a virtual machine. I'm so used to having my little hand that I can just grab. Yeah, there we go. Um, so let's say somebody deletes that guy. You know, kids come downstairs, start pressing some buttons like they normally do. And we delete it. It's totally gone off my computer, except what's going to save my ass here? Come downstairs after they mess things up, open up my file history, restore. And go into my pictures. There's my scarecrow. Restore him. Now he's back. So, anyway, that's file history. It's really, really simple to use. And uh, I think I think it's pretty effective. Um, I, I, if you have Windows 8, you should grab an extra drive. Drives are so cheap these days, and just get that drive, hook it up, turn on file history, and you're gonna be protected. So anyway, that's it for this small Windows 8 video. I'll talk to you guys later.